Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, dear athletes and teachers from all over the Philippines. Kumusta po kayo? Once again, welcome in our Dep at Itulay online tutorial. Kung saan po ay ating itutuloy ang pagkatuto ng bawat batang Pilipino sa Sipnayan. I'm Tutor Roel from SDO Camarina Sur, your math coach in Math 10. Okay, so it's nice to be back po. Kumusta po kayong lahat, math leads? So, hello po sa lahat ng math leads from Gudo Fredo Reyes National High School. Also sa math leads from Ocampo National High School. To our dear principal, Ma'am Eva. Sa aming OIC, Sir Jonel. To all the math teachers po. And also to our um, student teachers, Sir Carl and Ma'am Sarah. Sa lahat po na nanonood sa atin this time, hello po sa inyong lahat. Okay. So this time... Maraming nanonood po sa atin from all over the Philippines. So, tingnan nga natin. So, we have from SDO Isabela. Okay. And from other regions as well. So, this time, new topic will be unlocked. Mathletes, ready na ba kayo? Alam kong ready, ready na kayo. By the way, ngayon di muna natin makakasama si Tutor Abhil and si Tutor Joy. Okay po, may important concerns lang po sila they need to attend to. Okay, so ngayon, ako naman yung makakasama nyo. Okay lang po ba yun? Okay, hello po sa'yo, John Razzle Roman, and si Anton Gonzalez, Harchi Ramos, um, Ben Salan. Hello po. Okay. This time, okay, if you feature natin ating Mathlete of the Week during the week 4 na sumagot sa Math Challenge. He is from Ocampo National High School. Congratulations po sa'yo. Nagashley A. Prades from SDO Camarines Sur. Congrats. Very good. So alam ko, this time, maraming magsusubok sagutan ang match challenge natin, di ba? Kaya ba? Alam kong kayang-kaya yan. Good afternoon sa'yo, Harchi, Davison, and Kenneth. Hello po. Now, aside sa Matlit, we are also featuring po Matt Coaches of the Week. Sino-sino kaya yon? So, hello po sa'yo, Sir Junel Gonzalez from Ocampo National High School, SDO Camarines Sur for supporting Deped Itulay, especially in Mathematics 10. Hello, Sir Junel. And also, hello din po kay Ma'am Mary Rose F. Robles. Hello, Ma'am, from San Mariano National High School, SDO Isabela. Hello po, Ma'am. And also to Ma'am Jessilyn G. Ehe from Gudofredo Reyes Senior National High School, SDO Camarines Sur. Alam ko po, um, you are inspiring our dear athletes to participate in our e light tutorials. And marami pang manunod po nito. Tama ba, athletes? So invite nyo na yung mga kaklase nyo, kaibigan nyo, to watch in our session every Friday from 3.40 to 4.20. Pasensya po kung medyo na-late po tayo, ha? Medyo may technical concerns lang. Pero again, Hindi pwedeng di matuloy ang Math 10 with Coach Ruel, Coach Joy, and Coach Abhil. Okay? And also, we have the Math Husay Schools of the Week. Hello po sa SDS, sa school head ng Gudufreyo Reyes Senior National High School from SDO Camsur. Also to San Mariano National High School, SDO Isabela. And to Ocampo National High School, SDO Camarina Sur. Okay, so congrats po, Ma'am Ehe. Maraming students ngayon si Ma'am. Thank you po, Ma'am. Okay, eto na, yung pinakahihintay natin. What will be our lesson for this week? So our lesson is about probability of mutually exclusive and not mutually exclusive events. Kung titingnan niyo, parang mahirap yung lesson, di ba? So don't worry, tutulungan ko po kayo. I will guide you to unlock this topic for this session. Okay po? Last time, ang pinag-aralan nyo is about the introduction to probability of compound events. Somewhat related po ito sa last topic po natin. Okay? Again, alam ko familiar kayo sa probability. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng probability? Yes, ano ang ibig sabihin niya? Di ba pag sinabi pong probability, that is a branch of mathematics that deals with the occurrence of a random event. So sa math, simply, it is used to predict how likely events are to happen. Mangyayari kaya yon o hindi? Diba? 
possible bang mangyari? Kapag zero yung probability, ibig sabihin, hindi yun mangyayari. Kapag one yung probability or 100%, siguradong mangyayari. So, between zero and one, pwedeng hindi or pwedeng oo. Okay po? Okay, wow, marami pong mathletes and teachers ang nanonood sa atin in this session. Okay, let's proceed. We would like also to acknowledge um, DepEd Cordillera Administrative Region as reference po ng ating um, module this time. Okay po? So our writer is Ma'am Jocelyn Tango. Hello, ma'am. Okay. We have four objectives this session. Ano-ano kaya yun? So we have first is to illustrate the probability of a union of two events to illustrate a mutually exclusive and not mutually exclusive events, find the probability of the union of two events, and solve problems involving the probability of mutually exclusive and not mutually exclusive events. So what do you think, Mathletes? Kaya ba? Okay, kain kaya. Hello po, Kiana. Anton Gonzalez, Faith Sigitan, Dave Sonjao. Hello po sa inyo. Okay. So here's the question. Mathletes, are you ready? Alam kong ready, ready na. So let's get started. Okay, watching from Quezon City. Hello, Rea Nini, Angela, Tercero. So that's it. So let's have a review on what you had last meeting. Diba? So this time, the probability of an event E is given by the formula. Alam ko, familiar na kayo dyan, Mathletes, diba? Okay, diba Herbie, Mark, Ryan, and Shane? So to get the probability of an event, ito yung formula. It is equal to the number of favorable outcomes or the number of events over the total number of possible outcomes or the sample space. Again, that is N of E over N of S. Okay, and the probability of an event must be a number from 0 to 1. 0 Hindi mangyayari. Pag 1, siguradong mangyayari. Between 0 and 1, pwedeng hindi. Pwedeng oo. Okay po. Very good. Lujil Ann, Pia Bon, Davidson, Rey Nina. Okay. So ang basa po niyan, the probability of an event is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 1. So ang range niya from 0 to 1. So yan yung notation niya. Or inequality. Now, are you familiar with this? With this notation? Anong ibig sabihin yan, Matt Leeds? Sige nga kung familiar, what does it mean? Anong ibig sabihin yung notation na yan? So that is the union of two events. A union B. O gumagamit na ang word na or. A or B. How about this? If yung isa union, how about this one? Anong ibig sabihin po niyan? Okay, very good, Harry B. Yung isa, A union B. Yung pangalawa naman, that is intersection. So, A intersection B or A and B. Alam kung kuwang-kuwa niyan yun na ito. Now, this time, we will have maths new. Okay po? So, you already know how to find the probability of simple events. However, in real life, some events are connected. So, there are instances na we have compound events, um, hindi lang isa, yung situation or events. How are we going to solve that kind of situation or problem? Okay po? So let's find out. We have here the situation, we have fair play. So basahin ko lang po ha. By the way, very good sa mga sumagot ng intersection. We have Dave, Joan, Alia, Pia, Cedric, Kenneth, Cho. Okay, Desiree, Mary Nell. Okay, very good po. Active yung mga methods natin this time. Okay, here's the scenario. Daryl and Ricky decided to play polynomial damage to ease their boredom brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. They agreed that they will roll a die to determine who will make the first move. Both will roll the die and whoever gets the higher number makes the first move. Ricky rolls the die and gets a four. What is the probability that Daryl gets to play first? 
So we have here the question, what is the probability that Daryl gets to play first? Okay, medyo iba yung question this time. Okay po, mamaya sasagutan po natin yan. Okay, I will guide you how to answer this kind of problem. By the way, clarify lang po ha, ang ibig sabihin ng die is yung cube na may um, dots from 1 up to 6. Ang plural, ang plural ng die ay dice. Singular niya, die. Okay. Now, the question is, what number may turn up on the die if Dario will roll it so that he will be the one to play first? Okay po. Si Ricky nag-roll na. He got four. Ano yung dapat lumabas pag-roll ng die ni, da ni Daryl para siya yung mauna maglaro? So, anong number yon? What do you think, Matt Leeds? Sige nga. What do you think must be that number? Sabi ni Nagishle, 5 and 6. Okay, 5 or 6. Ano pa? Okay, yung iba may mga sagot na one-third yung probability. One-third ba talaga? Sige nga, tingnan nga natin along the way. Bala nga, di pa natin tinuturo. Pero alam nila, nila um, they tried to answer that given question. Okay, now for this one, ang number na pwedeng lumabas para mauna si Daryl mag-play ay 5 or 6. Very good. Now, Rolling a die and getting a 5 and rolling a die and getting a 6 are two simple events that cannot occur or happen at the same time. Hindi sila pwede magsabay na lumabas 5 and 6, diba? So one at a time. So it, it's either 5 or 6. So very good, Gerald and Emeline and Grace Ann, Louisa, Emeline, Catherine, Jovan. Very good po. Now, we have... Matt's new. But, but before we answer that probability question, again, um, pinakita natin na they, hindi sila pwedeng mag-appear simultaneously. So it's either five or six. Now, we have an activity wherein you will answer if the given events can happen at the same time. Okay? Yes, kapag pwedeng um, mag-occur at the same time. No, kapag hindi pwede. Okay? Let's have the first one. The first event, tossing a coin and getting a head. While the second one is tossing a coin and getting a tail. Now, can they happen at the same time? Yes or no? Hello, Angelica Rosario, Cedric, Daryl. Okay, can they happen at the same time po? What do you think? Is it a yes or a no? Okay, the answer to this is, very good, Nagesh, it's a no. They can't happen at the same time. Very good. And Davidson, Rona. So when we toss a coin, it's either a head or a tail. Hindi pwedeng pareho mag-appear doon, di ba? Isang side lang yung lalabas dyan. How about the second one? Okay. Rolling a die and getting a factor of six. While the second event is rolling a die and getting a prime number. Can they happen at the same time? Pwede ba yun? Okay, recall lang, when we say prime number, it is a number whose factor is 1 and itself. Except 1. Okay, ang 1 hindi siya prime number. So, ano-anong numbers except 1? Ang factor niya ay 1 and itself. So, we have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. Pero dito, can they happen at the same time? Yes or no? Sabi ni Rona Jane, no. Sabi po... Okay, sabi ni Alia, yes. Okay, this one, pwede o hindi? Ang factor ng 6 ay 1, 2, 3, 6. Ang prime numbers, 2, 3, 5. So, pwede ang 2, pwede ang 3 for vote events. So, the answer is yes. So, may common sila. We have 2 and 3. Okay lang yan kung mali this time, ha? Okay lang po yan. Okay. So, that situation has something to do with our lesson this session. And this one, we have compound event. Alam ko familiar na kayo sa simple event, same with compound event. Kasi yung compound event, it consists of two or more simple events that are connected by the word and or or. Okay po? Last week, may mga example si Tutor Joy sa inyo. Now, under compound event, it can be mutually exclusive, or not mutually exclusive. 
for number two, very good po, Diana, Regina, Julian, and Desiree. Again, for compound event, it can be mutually or not mutually exclusive. Anong ibig sabihin yan? So, Matlitz, madali lang ito, ha? wag pong malilito. Pag sinabing mutually exclusive, it cannot occur at the same time. And have no common elements. So, hindi sila pwede mag-appear at the same time. In short, wala silang common elements. Okay po? For not mutually exclusive naman, kabalik tara ni mutually. For not mutually, it can occur at the same time and have common elements. Okay po? By the way, we have new um, athletes from Partida National High School. Hello po. Okay, now. The probability that one event or another event will occur usually involves union and addition. So this time, we will have problems with or. Union, okay, union of two events. So unahin muna natin yung probability of mutually exclusive events. So you may use your pen and paper. You may take down notes along the way para makapag-solve din tayo. Okay? Now, the definition of this one, if two events A and B are mutually exclusive, then the probability that either A or B occurs is the sum of their probabilities. Okay? Pag sinabing mutually exclusive, cannot happen at the same time or no common elements. So in symbols, ang or union. So that is the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. Dito, ang i-add po natin ay yung probability nila. Okay po? Okay, very good, Harchi. N is for intersection, while OR is for union. Wow, natatandaan pa po. Very good. So, Venn diagram naman, eto siya. Pag union, so, ikakombine lang, A or B. O wala silang common elements. Magkaihwalay yung dalawang sets. Okay po? Okay. Now, let's have the given example. Balikin natin yung scenario, di ba? Doon sa fair play. Sabi, the die must show a 5 or a 6 so that Daryl will play first. Yung natatandaan ko pong sagot nyo ay 1 third. Tingnan nga natin kung tama yung 1 third. So, we will find the probability of an event where E is the event that the die shows either 5 or 6. So, again, we will find the probability that the die will show either 5 or 6. So, ito yung solution niya. Hello, good afternoon po sa iyo, Gelen Heronimo. Hello po, Ma'am Nancy Di Maiwat, may co-teacher po. Hello po. Now, eto na yung solution. Ang N of S, that is the number of sample sites. Given that we roll a die, so ilan yung possible, ilan yung total outcomes or sample space? We have six, kasi from one to six, anim yung S natin. Now, what is the probability na ang lalabas ay 5. Ilan ang 5? 1. Ilan yung posibleng lumabas? 6. So we have 1, 6. Or 1 over 6. How about the second event? Probability that 6 will show or will be the result. So ilan yung 6? 1 lang. Ilan yung posibleng lumabas? 6. So we have 1 over 6. Now, using the formula, we will find the probability of A union B that is equal to probability of A plus the probability of B. In short, ipa-plus lang po natin, i-add. Ano yung i-add natin? Yung dalawang 1, 6. And that is 1 plus 1 is 2 over 6 or 2, 6. And what is the lowest term? That is 1 third. Well, very good. So, ibig sabihin, the probability that Daryl will play first is one-third. So, imagine, uh, kahit hindi pa natin tinuto, nakuha niyo agad yung sagot. So, yung shortcut po niya, ganito. From numbers 1 to 6, ang pwedeng umapir ay 5 or 6 para mauna si Daryl na maglaro. So, dalawa yung chance niya. 5 or 6. Ilan po lahat? Ani. So, 2 out of 6. So, 2 over 6, that is 1 third. Ginawa niyo yung shortcut solution. Imagine, nakuha niyo po agad. Very good po. 
let's have the second example. Sige nga, kung makuha nyo rin ito. Oh, Mathletes, a bag contains four blue marbles, eight green marbles, and six red marbles. Carlo draws one ball at random. What is the probability that the marble is either red or green? Again, red or green. Pag or, i-add natin yung dalawang probabilities nila. Now, observe, a ball cannot be both red and green. So, these are mutually exclusive events. So, pwede natin gamitin yung formula. Ipa-plus lang po natin yung dalawang probabilities. Okay, Matlitz, kaya bang sagutan? Lang pong kaya kaya niyo ito. Okay, let's continue. So, we are looking for the probability of red or green. In short, that is the probability of red plus the probability of green. So, may mga sagot na. We have seven ninths. Okay, seven over nine. Tingnan nga natin kung tama ang seven over nine. Yung iba, pwede pa mag-try, mag-solve. Okay po? Okay. Ang probability na red, we have six out of what is the total number of marbles? Four plus eight plus six, that is 18. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, Matlitz, there are six red marbles out of 18 marbles. Well, for green, ang probability niya naman ay 8 over 18 or 8 eighteenths. To solve this, ipa-plus lang po natin yung numerator. Okay, so we have 6 plus 18. We have 14. Copy the denominator, 18. Wow, marami ang sagot, 7 nines. Tingnan nga natin. What is the lowest term of 14 eighteenths? That is 7 nines. Okay, very good po. So the probability that the drawn marble is either red or green is 7 nines. Very good, Kenneth, Ronald, Grizel, Desiree, Cho, Catherine, Cedric, John Philip, Cha, Mary Joy. Okay, dami, very good po. Okay, now, how about the third example? Sige nga, tingnan nga natin. A card is drawn at random from a standard deck of 52 cards. What is the probability of drawing an ace, a 10, or a king. Now, if you are not familiar with a deck of cards, ito po yung, uh, okay, ito yan. We have 52 cards divided into four suits. We have club, spade, a heart, and a diamond. Yung club and spade, black po sila, while yung heart and diamond, red. So we have ace, tapos may numbers tayo 2 to 10, and yung Jack, Queen, King, ang tawag dyan ay face cards. Okay po? Ito na. Here is now the solution. The three events are mutually exclusive. Since you cannot draw a card that is an ace, a ten, and a king at the same time. So they can't appear at the same time sa pag-draw ng card. Okay, so mutually exclusive po sila. So pwede natin i-add ang mga probability nila. Now, we will find the probability of each card. Ito na yung solution. What is the probability na ace yung mabubunot? Ilan yung ace? We have ace of club, ace of spade, ace of heart, ace of diamond. May apat na ace. Out of ilan lahat? 52. Okay, so we have 4 over 52. Plus, May mga sagot na rin sila, 3 over 13 or 3 thirteens. Tingnan nga natin kung tama yan. And the probability na 10, may apat na 10 out of 52. Same with king. Now, let's add the three probabilities. 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12. Divide it by 52. And the lowest term now is, okay, very good, you got it right. It's 3 thirteens. Okay, yung mga nag 4 thirteens and 2 thirteens, okay lang po yan. So, again, the probability of drawing an ace, a 10, or a king is 3 thirteens. Very good po, athletes. So, those are the examples of mutually exclusive events. They cannot happen at the same time. Now, how about the second compound event, which is not mutually exclusive? 
So this time, we will have the probability of not mutually exclusive events. So here's the definition. For any two events, A and B, of the same experiment, which are not mutually exclusive events, the probability of the union of A and B is given by this formula. Ito yun. So A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of their intersection. So klaruin lang natin. Sa mutually exclusive, ipa-plus lang po ang two probabilities, two or more probabilities. For not mutually, magma-minus lang tayo ng intersection nila. Kung ano yung common, yun yung ima-minus po natin sa sum. Okay po, ganun lang kadali. Okay? Ang Venn diagram, eto siya. Yung intersection nila, yan yung ima-minus sa sum. Okay po? Hello, Jill Grace Tawagon. Hello, Alia Beroya and John Philip and Harchi. Hello po sa inyo. Oh, sige, example tayo para mas madali. A die is rolled once. What is the probability of an even number or a factor of 6 turning up? Okay? So, naging example natin ito kanina. So, a die has 6 spaces numbered 1 to 6. So, ang sample space natin ay 6. Now, let A, that is the even number. Ano-ano yung even numbers? Kaya lang dapat from 1 to 6 lang. So we have 2, 4, and 6. Ilan lahat? May 3 elements. While yung second event natin, let's say factor of 6. Ano-ano ang factors of 6? We have 1, 2, 3, and 6. Ilan lahat yung elements? We have 4. Pukunin natin yung intersection. Okay po. Since... They are not mutually exclusive. So A intersection B. Ano yung common kay 2, 4, 6 and 1, 2, 3, 6? These are 2 and 6. Okay, so we have two elements in common. Ngayon, gamit yung formula, isa substitute na po natin. So ang probability na A, that is 3 elements out of 6. While yung probability naman na factor of 6, we have 4 kasi apat yung elements out of 6. Ima-minus natin yung intersection, yung pareho. That is 2 out of 6. Now, simplify. Since they are similar terms, we will combine the numerators. 3 plus 4 minus 2. The answer is 5. 5, 6. And that is now the probability of getting an even number or a factor of 6. Okay? Again, para mas simple, ganito na lang. Tingnan po ninyo. Ang even number, we have 2, 4, 6. Ang factors of 6 ay 1, 2, 3, 6. So, an a, kunin natin yung union. Ano-anong numbers yun? Those are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. Ilang numbers yun? 5. So, we have 5 as the number of possible outcomes all over the sample space, which is 6. In short, naging siyang 5, 6. Okay po? So, pwede hindi nyo i-follow yung long solution. If you know the shortcut, feel free to do so. Okay po? Again, pwede listing method lang. Okay po? Sige nga. Let's have the second example. How about this matrix? If there is a 30% chance of rain on Saturday, 70% chance of rain on Sunday, and 21% chance of rain on Saturday and Sunday, what is the probability that it will rain on either Saturday or Sunday? So this one, given na yung probability. Okay po? So here is now the solution. So let A, chance of rain on Saturday. Let B, chance of rain on Sunday. And the intersection, that is Saturday and Sunday. Okay, that is now the formula. Isa substitute lang po natin yung given sa formula. What is the probability na it will rain on Saturday, yung color blue? 30%. Now, let's convert it into decimal number. Ang 30%, that is... 
0.30. May sagot na si Nagesh Lay, 79 over 100. Tingnan nga natin, same with Archie. And the probability naman na B, that is 70% or 0.70. Minus, we will subtract their intersection, yung common. So, since it will rain both on Saturday and Sunday with 20%, uh, 21%, that is 0.21. Now, 0.30 plus 0.70 minus 0.21 is 0.79. 0 0.79 is the same as 79 over 100 or 79%. Therefore, there is 79% chance that it will rain on either Saturday or Sunday. So imagine we can able to find the probability if it will rain on Saturday or Sunday. Okay po. But remember, Matlitz, it doesn't mean na 79% yung chance of rain na uulan po talaga. Okay? There are instances na kahit mataas yung chance, ha, hindi naman umuulan. Okay po? But still, there is a high chance of probability na pwedeng umulan. Okay po? Now, Matlitz, here is now the question. Are you ready to take the quick check challenge? Yes or no? Very good po. Isa, Gerald, Earl, Cho, Kenneth, Enoch, Austin C., John, Philip, Harchi. And sa mga Matlitz na, sumasagot pa rin po. Okay, now ready na ba? And hello rin, Isa, Cyrene, Shane, Julian. Okay, alam kong ready, ready na. You can do this one because I know that you are. Hashtag, Matibay. Okay po. Okay, yes na yes. Sabi ni Mark Ryan Gonzalez. Okay, now, ready your pen and paper. Pwede gumamit ng calculator, pero much better if hindi na. Okay po. Mahirap umas kay calculator. Now, number one. Ito na yon. Which of the following are mutually exclusive events when a card is chosen at random from a standard deck of 52 cards? Alin po dyan ang mutually exclusive events? Is it A, choosing a 9 or a diamond? B, choosing an ace or a red card? Or C, choosing a king or a queen? Or letter D, all of the above? Again, which of the following are mutually exclusive events? Sige nga, Matt Leeds. Alin kaya dyan ang mutually exclusive events? So they cannot happen at the same time. Sabi ni Earl, letter C. Tingnan nga natin. What do you think, Matlitz? Ano kayong tamang sagot? Sabi ni Rhea Nina, Nagish Blevery. Uh, letter C. Same with Kiana. May. Okay. For number one, the answer is letter C. Very good. So we can draw a card which is a king or a queen. Okay po. Very good. So very good. This is Jill Grace, Cyrene, Kenneth. Shane, Lugiel, Justin, Isa. Okay, now, how about the second math challenge or quick check challenge? If the probability of A is equal to 0 0.25 and the probability of B is equal to 0 0.60 and the probability of the intersection of A and B is 0 0.15, then A the probability of the union of A and B is 0 0.80. B, the probability of the union of A and B cannot be determined. C, events A and B are mutually exclusive. Or letter D, events A and B are not mutually exclusive. For number one, very good po. Isa, Julian, John, Julian, Pia Bon, Brian Nina. Okay, how about number two? Sige nga, Matt Reeves. Based from the given, alin dyan yung pwedeng maging conclusion? Sabi ni Earl, letter C. Okay? Remember, may intersection po sila. Okay po? Hello, Angelica Vera, watching from Ocampo National High School. Again, remember, Matt Reeves, may intersection. Pag may intersection, they have something in common. Okay po? So for number two, the correct answer is, very good, it's letter D. Events A and B are not mutually exclusive. Hindi pwede si letter A kasi ang 
sagot po dyan ay 0.70. Okay po? Okay. Now, let's have number 3. Yung mga nalito, okay lang po yan. Bawi tayo. Number 3. Nagishlay rolled a fair die once. What is the probability that a 4 or a prime number will turn up? Is it A, 1 sixth, B, 1 third, C, 1 half, or letter D, 2 thirds? Okay, what is the probability that a 4 or a prime number? Yung prime numbers po natin ay 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. Pero talking about a die, so ang mga kapasok lang doon ay 2, 3, 5. So, mayroon po tayong numbers na 2, 3, 4, and 5 out of 6 numbers. What do you think is the correct answer for number 3? Is it 1 half or 2 thirds? Very good, Matrix. The correct answer for number 3 ay letter D, 2 thirds. Bakit po? So, ang pwedeng lumabas po ay 4, 2, 3, and 5. May apat out of 6. So, 4 sixths is equal to 2 thirds. Very good. Claudine, John, Adam Ross, Cyrene, Trisha. Chacha, Jay, Claudine. Very good. How about the fourth one? A card is drawn from a standard deck of 52 cards. What is the probability of drawing a 3 or a face card? Is it A, 1 13? B, 2 13? C, 3 thirteenths, or letter D, 4 thirteenths. So, what do you think? Drawing a 3, mayroon tayong apat na 3. A face card, we have jack, queen, and a king. Tiga apat din sila. Okay, what do you think is now the probability? Okay. For number four, math leads, the correct answer is letter. Okay, very good. It's letter D, four thirteenths. So we have three, jack, queen, and king. Four out of 13. Okay, po, or four times four is 16. 16 over 52, or lowest term niya, four thirteenths. Very good po. Ang gagaling ng math leads natin. Now, how about the last quick check question? Sige nga. Number five. A bag contains eight black pens, seven red pens, and five blue pens. Kyra draws one pen at random. What is the probability that the pen is either red or blue? Sige nga. Is it A, two-fifths? B, three-fifths, C, thirteen-twentieths, twentieths, or D, three-fourths. Again, what is the probability that the pen is either red or blue? So para mas madali, you may simply add the number of red and blue marbles all over the total number of marbles. Sige nga, tingnan natin. Ano kaya yung sagot dyan? We have 7 red and 5 blue. So we have 12. Ilan lahat? That is 20. Okay, the correct answer for number 5 is... Okay, very good. It's letter B. 3 fifths. Bakit? We have 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 over 20, lowest term niya, is 3 fifths. Very good po. Now... Kumusta? Nakailan po kayo? So, 1 to 5 na quick check questions. Okay. Naka 5 ba? 5 over 5? So, kung naka 4, 5, very good po. 3, okay lang. 2, okay na. Okay, bawi tayo next time. Okay po? So, very good math leads. Now, this time. Are you now ready to take the math challenge of the week? Is it a yes or a no? Math leads. Alam kong ready ready na kayo to take the match challenge of the week. Ano kaya yon? Okay, again, you can do this one because you are matibay. Very good, Aliyah, naka-perfect. Same with eh, no? um, Anton Gonzalez. 
Si Honey Grace, naka-4. Okay lang po yan. Si Kent, naka-5. Very good. Austin, 5. Erica, 3. Okay. Honey Grace, 4. Trisha, 4. Okay na okay po yan. Very good. Dito na tayo sa Math Challenge of the Week. Ito na. You may take note of this. The probabilities of three employees, Janelle, Mary Rose, and Jessalyn, to be promoted are three eighths, two fifths, and one seventh, respectively. Assume that only one employee will be promoted. What is the probability that neither Jessalyn nor Mary Rose will be promoted? Okay. Now, as you can see, um. Nakalagay dito is nor, hindi or. Okay po. How are you going to solve for this one? So, bigyan ko yun ng hint. Unang gagawin nyo, get the probability mapopromote si Jessalyn or si Mary Rose. Okay po. Then after, ano yung sunod na gagawin? Or take it this way. Halimbawa, ang chance ko po na manalo sa loto ay halimbawa lang 70%. So, ano yung chance na hindi ako mananalo? That is 30%. In short, sinubtract ko po yung 70% from 100%. So, dito, same lang yung i-apply niya. It's either 100% or 1. Okay, 1.0. Don't forget to, to include hashtag math10challenge, hashtag tutorabhilp, and hashtag tutorwell, and hashtag tutorjoy. Once you post this one, And also, don't forget to please like, subscribe, and share mga kaitulay mathletes and coaches. Okay po? For DepEd Itulay, we have this. And for DepEd Itulay YouTube, meron din po tayo. Marami bang natutunan ang mga mathletes natin for this week? May natutunan po ba? Next week, another episode, another session, another topic will be unlocked. So, I'm very thankful for our math coaches who inspire our math leads to participate po for our every session this Friday. So, magkita-kita tayo muli next week for another lesson to be unlocked. So, thank you po sa lahat ng learners from Ocampo National High School, Gudo Fredo Reyes Senior National High School, San Mariano, and all other schools na nagpa-participate po sa atin. Once again, math leads, I'm happy to inspire you to teach you a new lesson. And I'm Chutor Well from SDO Camarines Your math coach in Math 10. See you next time.